Isabel, can you take your eyes off the screens for a minute of your life? Me? <laughs> what about you? He's asking for you. Really, Belle, please help. I'm slammed with work, and Daddy's just... Daddy? <laughs> Matt, whatever. For what it's worth, you were calling him Dad for a while. Yeah, before he had a real kid. We just need a little help this summer, Belle. Mommy? Mommy's coming. Are we hearing one another? Sure thing, Mommy. My charge for nanny services is 20 bucks an hour, cool? I was thinking more along the lines of room and board and fees waived for bringing you into this world. Go open a real book, hmm? Mommy's coming! No! It's not that one, this one? Oh, look who's here. It's Mommy. Give me the hook. Oh, yes, my little boy. Oh. Hey, oh. go tell Belle to make you some lunch, okay? Oh. Come on. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah. So, Joe threw two listings in my lap today, so I might be home by dinner. His new boyfriend is whisking him off to Santa Barbara for the week. Uh, remember when I used to be able to whisk you away? You were an excellent whisker. <laughs> <sighs> Maddie, I'm so sorry. I know I promised you time to work on getting your client list back up. I can tell him to forget it. No, no, the extra money will be good. Yeah. Well, make Isabel help you. She spends all day staring at one screen or another. I'm afraid she's going to lose her ability to speak. That's why I'm reluctant to let her watch our little monkey. Maddie, she's 16. She needs to learn some responsibility. OCD much, Mom? Bell, there are meals in the freezer already prepared. Just heat one up. Okay. It's like I don't even live here or something. Your mommy and my mommy are very different people. We have the same mommies. You're biologically correct, sir. Be careful, it's a little hot. Did you get that from the fishbowl? Thank God. You're seriously disgusting. Thank God. I can't believe you're into that kid. He's total damage. I heard he robbed a liquor store. Okay, TMZ. I heard he asked a guy out front to buy him a 40. Is that his Insta quick? Oh my god, you're a stalker. Just go over there and say hi. Who knows that? Because desperation is so attractive. See so not that. Smile. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm getting you the attention Wait, you stop deserve. That. No. <laughs> Send. There you go. Oh, that's You ladies a beer? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Your picks are pretty tight. Thanks. Who's the woman with the kid? That's my uh, mom and my half brother. Oh, half brother, huh? Oh yeah, his dad married my mom. Life's never been the same, you know. Ah, uh, your dad's a tool. 
Uh, no, actually, he's pretty cool. We were really close until Tommy was born. So, the kid's a tool. <laughs> sure. uh, uh, okay. Let me. <sighs> okay. So this Tommy character. You gotta break his kneecaps. Oh, did you actually know that humans don't even start developing kneecaps until they're about two years old? Well, you learn a lot of random stuff when you have a baby brother in junior high. Uh, <laughs> um, point is, his are probably still developing, so. You're my kind of weird, Isabel. <laughs> I'm home. Ten minutes early for curfew. Thank you very much. Hey, Mom. What a cute boy. Sweet. Talk to you later. Okay, one more bite of yogurt, buddy. Here it comes, all the way from the North Pole. He's yummy. All right, we're done. You get to go do whatever you want for like 20 minutes, okay? Go. All right, run along. Go, buddy, go. Where's mom? Uh, work. Didn't she see my note I left her right on her teacup? She was in a rush. I don't think she even made it into the kitchen. Whatever. Hey, hey, you know she's not gonna work this much forever, right? It's not that, I just thought she would at least say goodbye. She totally begged in our tradition. I didn't know you guys had one. You wouldn't. Sorry, never mind. Belle, come on. I mean, seriously, is this the way it's gonna be between you and me? It's just when it was just the two of us and she got really busy with work, she would wake me up and then hop in the shower and I would make the tea. And then I would sit in the bathroom with her while she got ready. It was our only time together. It's stupid. No, Belle, it's not stupid. It's beautiful. Blue eyes are brown. Oh, my God. What? I can dish. Dish? <laughs> Hazel. Oh! Isabella has a boyfriend. <laughs> I'm a wicked. <laughs> I know that you're busy. I can take Tommy to the park. I'm not going to break him. No, it's not that, it's just... I'm self-centered and irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, walls are super thin. Okay, cool. I could use the hour. Straight to the park, okay? And keep your phone on you. Is your phone on you? Always is. Keep it in your pocket. Eyes on Tommy. Yes, sir. Bye, right. <laughs> guy. Have fun. Tommy boy. Tommy boy, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, we'll bring some wax paper and make it extra slippery. How much do you charge? He's my little brother. I know. I see your mom here all the time. That's my Andy. Yeah, you look familiar. This is Tommy. I'm Isabel. I think I've seen you here before. Yeah, I'm kind of a fixture around here. And the mall, and the farmer's market. Just anything to get out of the house, you know? Gotta burn out that taller energy. <laughs> Seriously. You know, I teach the story hour at the rec center on Wednesdays. You should come by. Okay. Oh, we got a runner. <laughs> oh, nice meeting you. Hey, buddy. You can't run off like that. It scares me, buddy, okay? Playing in the sand? You got it all over you. Boo! 
<laughs> oh my gosh. What are you doing here? I thought I'd come by and say hi. Hi. Is this little monster is causing you so much trouble? Yeah. Hi, I'm Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Lo-fi? <laughs> it's gravel from the fish tank. He's obsessed. It's completely disgusting. It's really disgusting. <laughs> Thank you. How'd you know where to find me? Oh, I stalked you. <laughs> Not really. I saw the picture you posted on InstaQuick. You see this pin right here? Mm -hmm. That's you. You totally stalked me. No, I didn't. You have very poor cybersecurity. I know. I'm lazy. Maybe you just want to be found. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to fix it for you? I can. Nah, you're right. I'm OK being found. <laughs> Try to get some of that in your mouth, my love. See how good it is when you actually eat it? <laughs> hey, Mom. Hi. Aren't you late? Yes, but I wanted to see you guys. Feels like it's been days. It's been one day. We're fine, Mom. Mm -hmm. I love you both. <laughs> OK, we're fine. Go before you're even later. Love you. Love you both. Seriously, dude? <laughs> All right, one more. One more time. OK, let's go. All right, you ready? Let's go. Hey. Wow, Woo good kick, bud. OK, let's try this one with your left foot. This foot? That foot. You ready? Oh, that's OK. Oh, that's OK. No hands on the soccer ball. Hey, hands off that soccer ball, mister. Oh, you what? All right, let's try it again. I'm hungry. You're hungry? You're in luck. I brought a picnic. Picnic. <laughs> OK, coming right up. Stay close, OK? Stay close. Right there. It's a sandwich without sprinkles. Does he know his home address? 
No, he's three. And you said he was wearing blue jeans and uh, a red shirt? Yeah, um... <sighs> Can I send this to my phone? Hold it right there. Where the parents? Where the parents? Go ahead. Isabel! Mom! What happened? Mr. Fletcher, <laughs> Detective Phillips? I turned around for a second. He was gone. I just wanted to go get him the picnic. I know I shouldn't let you watch him. What was I thinking? We'll continue to take eyewitness accounts, but no one that we interviewed saw anyone or anything strange. Our initial assessment is that he wandered off. Yes, he's a runner. You have to keep a close eye on him. What can we do? We have officers searching the outlying area right now. Oh, my God. The streets. We have vehicles searching all the streets around the park. If he doesn't turn up, we have a canine unit to help. Now, do you have any clothing of Tommy's that might have a scent on it? Uh, yeah. Here's his jacket. So, look, I've seen cases like this before. Right. Child gets distracted by something he sees and wanders off, gets lost. Sometimes they, they hide because they're afraid they might get in trouble. I want to help with the search. Of course. I'll be right back. Did he say anything to you about wanting to go somewhere? No. Okay, was anyone flying a kite? He loves kites. I, I didn't see any, no. I, I don't know why he would have wandered off. God, my baby. Were you on your phone, ignoring him? No, I wasn't ignoring him. Maybe you should have been paying better attention. Or maybe someone took him. Or maybe I actually did everything right, and it was just completely out of my control because someone took him. Why is that so hard for both of you to believe? God, it's like I'm just invisible to both of you. Because he would have screamed if he was grabbed. He would bite and kick and scream if someone Stop would have it. noticed. Please, both of you. You're right. He would have screamed. Excuse me. Mrs. Fletcher, maybe you should go home in case Tommy shows up there. Uh, someone he knows might have picked him up. We only move in five. I love you. He's okay. Tommy's okay. Get your stuff. you all enough for coming out to help us find our baby boy, Tommy. Again, he's three years old. He's wearing a red shirt and jeans and red shoes. He's a little guy, and he's a very good hider. Thank you. My wife and I are forever grateful. Slow and steady. Heading out. This is Fletcher. I'm Agent Willis from the Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team. Abduction? It's merely procedure. May we talk, please? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. The police said he probably wandered off. He does that. Mrs. Fletcher, I don't mean to alarm you unnecessarily. There is no evidence yet that Tommy has been abducted. The police are correct. It's just that in cases of missing children as young as Tommy, we're called out to investigate any and all possibility, small as those chances may be. I'm simply here to evaluate the circumstances. I'm gonna need a list of names and numbers of all family members, teachers, workers within the home. Yes, of course. Uh, it's, it's all in my contacts. Can I offer you something to drink? I'm fine, ma'am. Thank you. I, I need some coffee, excuse me. Isabel, are you on social media, uh, Twitter? Yeah, I'm all of it. We could really use your help right now anything just tell me what to do i want you to reach out to everyone you know 
The more eyes that we have out there looking for Tommy, the better. Can you do that for me? Yeah. Tommy! 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 Tommy, it's Daddy! Tommy, it's Daddy! It's okay to come out, buddy! Tommy! Mommy and Bella are waiting for you! Tommy! Tommy! Come on, Tommy! Got something. This is Phillips. Come back with that. Northeast end of the park. Mr. Fletcher! What is it? That is the room. Mr. Fletcher, wait. Is this his? Is this Tommy's? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. He's got a lot of clothes. I mean, it looks like his size. Hey, don't. Wait, listen to me. Listen to me. We put his name on the tags of all his jackets. Check it, please. Please. It's not his. Bring it in the K9 unit. look both ways when he crosses the street. It's man, I'm a dad. And I can only imagine the world of pain you're going through right now, but it's extremely important that you let law enforcement direct a search. We've got to make sure that whatever evidence we find is protected and preserved. Finding Tommy is our highest priority. Okay? Okay. Look, you've had a long day. <sighs> Go home. Be with your wife and daughter. I can't just do nothing. It's my son. Just continue to get the word out to as many people as you can. We're gonna find Tommy. I promise. Okay, um... I appreciate all you're doing. We'll keep you updated. Blasted out a tweet with the hashtag find Tommy now. I've already almost got a hundred retweets. And I post an announcement on Face Chatter. Excellent work. Good. Now just keep an eye on the comments for any leads. Also, I took about a dozen photos on my phone today. If Tommy was taken, there could be a photo of the person who took him on my phone. Please, Belle. Let's just pray that he wasn't taken. Mom, I was there. I was right there. Please believe me. I turned away for a second and he was gone. It was that fast. Why? Well, why? Why him? It just doesn't make any sense. You're right, Jackie. You're right. Sometimes it doesn't make any sense. But we just have to continue to have faith that he's either going to come wandering back here or one of our officers will find him. They've already talked to and gotten photos from everyone that was at the park. Not to mention there's surveillance cameras all the way around the park. It's an extremely well-covered area. So the best thing that we can do right now is keep an eye on your social media. Continue to get the word out. The more eyes that are out there looking for Tommy, the better. Okay, we will. I'm gonna get back to the park for a few and check in with Phillips. There'll be an officer parked outside in front of the house tonight if you need anything. And 
while I'm gone, call me for any reason if you need anything, okay? We're gonna do everything we can to find Tommy. And soon. I'm sorry. Belle? Belle? Isabel? Have you seen her? No. She's not here, and her laptop is gone. What do you mean she's not here? She's gotta be. Did you check the shower? No! She's not home! It's the middle of the night. Why? Why is the bigger question? I'll ask the officer outside. Sorry. The cops are all over this. Why not just let them do their job? I know that he was taken, Jeremy. My parents are in denial, but I was there. It, just, it all happened way too fast. Someone would have seen him. I took a hundred pics of him on my phone that day, so whoever took him has got to be in the background in one of them. I just needed a bigger screen to be able to see the detail. Don't the police have all of your photos? Yeah, but who knows what they'll do with it. Whatever it is, I know that we can do more from here. I can't just sit back and wait. Look, police are still treating this as though Tommy wandered off, but I just, I know that he was taken. So I just really need your help. No one is moving fast enough, so please help me. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ben, I need you to do a face chatter search of anyone at Roosevelt Park Playground in last week. You got it. Okay. <sighs> That's awesome. Yeah, I got the idea from when you tracked me down at the playground. Okay, Allison, look into those profiles. I want you to scour their timelines, activities, groups, friends. If their profile's private, Google them like you would a cheating boyfriend. I want any and all info on their day-to-day, -day, especially anything weird. Um, what kind of weird? Legal, trouble, lack of activity. Also, places that they shop where they regularly check in. What are you looking for? Tommy disappeared too quickly for it to be a random abduction. Whoever took him probably cased the place at least once or twice beforehand. Okay, Ben, I want you to do a fine search. Anyone that was there from the hours of noon to two. We'll see if there's any crossover with Allison's list. Okay. All right. Ready to take your cyber stalking to the next level? Okay, sorry for disturbing you. Sure, that's fine. Okay.
They didn't see her. She must have gone over the back fence. Oh, I just woke up the Kennedys. Uh, Allison's at a sleepover. Her mom's calling to check if she's heard from Belle. Damn it, Isabel. It's Belle. Leave a message. Belle, call me back now. We really need the whole family to be together right now. Belle, come home, please. She left without telling us. She took her computer. She's not going to answer your calls, Jack. What are you doing? Taking care of it myself. OK, now what? We need to go out to anyone who frequents the park and other places the park goers hang get their phone footage. How did you go from newbie to full-blown stalker in a week? I kind of went down a rabbit hole looking for my birth dad. Let's just say I learned a lot in the process. Did you find him? Oh, yeah. And? Like I said, I learned a lot in the process. I, I really don't want to talk about it. Can we just focus on this? Yeah. We're going to find him. So what's the situation? Got a number of jackets, toys, and food items we picked up around the perimeter. Pictures of all of it for the family to look at. All right. So none of the witness interviews turned up anything suspicious at the park at the time of the incident? A couple of moms saw the same guy with a dog. Never seen him at the playground before. We checked him against the database, and he's clean. Security footage is being scanned as we speak. Did you lift any fingerprints? Millions. Yeah, of course. No reports of commotion. Some people remember seeing Tommy, but it's like he vanished into thin air. We're doing background checks of the family relations. And I want you to check this outlying area. I want you to go door to door, check every basement, every abandoned refrigerator, any place that you can think of that Tommy may have hidden in last night. Julie Stark, crazy dog lady. She posts photos of them every day in different outfits. No kids. Good eye, but there's no way she could pull off a kidnapping. Elise Babcock. She had a really strong online presence until yesterday. Maybe she's out looking for Tommy still. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. She's cool, but she knows everything and everyone at the park, so friend her for me and keep an eye on her. I want all of her footage when she's back. Copy that. Lastly, we have Juliana Hargrove. This one's on the sex offender list. What? Let me see. Bury the lead much? Has she been posting since Tommy went missing? Um, I think so, a little bit. She commented a couple of times. Address? I had that. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm just really tired. It's OK. I know it's late. Isabel! Crap, that's my step -down. Isabel! Isabel! Get in the car. You're coming home. What are you doing here? I've been driving around for an hour trying to find this place. Your mother's worried to death. Do you really think she needs us right now? Sir, she's just trying to help. Say goodbye to my daughter. This is the last time you're going to see her. That is completely unfair. Come in here. You don't even ask. You do not even know what I think I have a really good idea what's been going on here. Get in the car! Jeremy! Let's go! No, he wasn't wearing a jacket. <sighs> Must have been so cold last night. No. Yes, that's his. Wait. Hold on a second.
Do you have any kids, Agent Wallace? I have two boys, six and ten. My heart is breaking for you. I remember when Isabel was learning to ride a two-wheeler, and uh, I was terrified of something happening to her. <laughs> Bill, I know you're trying to help, but you're not in charge here. You're 16 years old. Well, where'd you go? I was just trying to find Tommy. He's not even listening to me. I can help. I have a lead. I can help. It's your help that got us in this mess in the first place. No, no, it's fine. Bell, Matt didn't mean it. He's... We're just all really scared and stressed out right now. I thought that if I could find Tommy, Matt would forgive me. I have something, I think. Something? There's a woman that's been hanging out at the park that's on the sex offenders list. The sex offenders list for what? Lewd and lascivious acts, the child under 16 years of age. Oh, my God. I don't know if she was at the park the day that Tommy disappeared, but... But she goes to that park. She was there just last week. Why would she even be allowed at the park, Belle? Wouldn't there be some sort of a court order? Please, Mom. Just let me show you. I promise. Just give me one chance. You'll see. Okay. I have her address. All right, let's go. Just you and me, Mom. Matt, he does not understand where he's not listening, but either way, he's not gonna go along with this. If I'm wrong, I'll stop and do whatever you want. Jesus, 403 comments and not one legitimate lead. Praying for your family. That's great, that's great, thanks. You know, I know it doesn't seem like much, but the more eyes that we have out there looking, the better it is for everyone. You have to keep this dialogue up. You shouldn't have left your back door open. I mean, what does that even mean? He disappeared from a park. Internet trolls, this happens all the time. They're trying to make themselves feel superior by blaming it on the parents, making them feel bad. Yeah, well, it's cruel. Yeah. Well, try not to take it personally. You guys are fantastic parents, and you're doing everything that you can be doing right now. Thank you. Hey, where are you guys going? We just need some fresh air and some time to talk. Alone? OK. Hargrove? Yes. Come in. Sorry, I'd invite you in, but my toddler's sleeping. Can I help you? Yeah, are you Juliana Hargrove? Originally from Utah Springs, Deerfield High School. What's this about? My little brother went missing at Roosevelt Park. Yes, I saw the posters. I'm so terribly sorry. Can I... You found me on the registry. I can explain. When I was 15, I had a boyfriend who was also 15. Our parents wanted us to wait until we were married. When we didn't wait, they brought up charges on both of us. Utah, go figure. I'm so, so sorry. I've been praying for your family. Thank you. I'm so sorry, Mom. All I have done is waste time. No, it's okay. You gave me hope for a moment, honey. This might not have been the right lead, but you have woken me up, and now we just need to find him. So you agree? You think that someone took him? Belle, I trust your instincts. You've been one step ahead of the police this whole time. Yeah? 
And it just dawned on me that if we were able to find Juliana so easily through a simple cyber search, do you think whoever took Tommy might have done the same thing? You think they found him through my posts? I'm not blaming you, sweetie. I'm just... No, 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 no. I get it. You could be right. I need to go to everywhere that I posted from and see if anyone has any leads. Okay? We're next. No, Mom, you should go home. I'm gonna call Allison to pick me up. Do you trust me? Of course I do. Keep your phone on. You got it. Check in often. Okay. Three hours max. You got it. All right. Love you. I love you. <sighs> no, you've done a great job. No, get some sleep. All right, I gotta go. Thanks, Mr. Poster. Sure. Why don't you have a seat? <sighs> Look, our preliminary search operation has been exhausted. Now the probability of Tommy being lost is officially lower than other possible conclusions. Now you're saying he was abducted? It's a strong possibility. Children taken by strangers represent less than one one hundredth of one percent of all missing children. This doesn't feel random. Really? Because it feels totally friggin' random to me. I've called a professional profiler down to the house, and she's amazing. She'll help us get to the bottom of this. I hope so. Because we're running out of time. Taken, man, I can feel it. It's been 17 hours. We've looked everywhere. Somebody took our baby. I know. Isabel was right all along. Get home as soon as you can. I love you. Me too. Try to get some of that in your mouth. What took you so long? I'm sorry, I got caught up. I, I tried to text you, though. Yeah, my phone's dead. Do you think you could take it to the warehouse, charge it for me? Sure. Is she here yet? Not yet. Story hour starts in a few minutes. And what if she doesn't show? Figured I could talk to the women, see if any of them were there, have footage. OK, good idea. If they do, I'm going to have them text it to my phone. I'll come by later, check it out, so download everything. OK. OK. Be careful. OK. Agent Radzicki, this is Mr. Fletcher. Hi, Mr. Fletcher. How are you? I'm here to help get to the bottom of this. I hope so. Come on in. Is there anyone, and I mean anyone, new clients, new friends? No, nah, business has been a near halt. Someone from your past that might want retribution for something, someone new to your social circle in any way? No, no. I mean, Isabel has a new boyfriend, Jeremy. I don't know what his last name is. But what would a 17-year-old kid want with my... What do you know about him? Not a lot. He skates, takes pictures. He's a kid, I don't know. Can you get her on the phone? Yeah, i try. It's unlikely that a 17-year-old kid would want anything to do with taking a toddler. Right, but he wasn't there at the time of the incident, so we should look into it. Yeah, or any of his friends or contacts the parents don't know about. It's Belle. Leave a message. Straight to voicemail. Belle, I need to speak to you immediately. Call me as soon as you get this. She's 16, right? Yeah. Active on social media? Only 24-7. You got her passwords? Mm-hmm. This way. OK, password. Isabel 98. Nope. What do you mean? Password encouraged. That's your password. Oh, maybe she changed it. Well, it's okay. Passwords aren't hard to figure out. Nobody complicates them enough. Okay, let's just work off the original password, uh, Isabel98. Let's expand on that. Yeah, um, Isabel1998. Fine. No. 
Uh, okay, how about, um, Bell, 1998? Yeah, 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 try it, try it. Excuse me. That's your brother on the posters, right? The one who's missing? Yeah. Y yes, were you there at the park that day? No, unfortunately. Do you know anyone that was? No, I don't. I'm just visiting family here. I just want to tell you I'm so sorry. I just, I can't even imagine. <sighs> Invisible, like a invisible. Okay. Invisible? Yeah, it's how she signed her journal entries. God, it's like I'm just invisible to both of you. Invisible 98. We're in. Ah! What is it? He always brings that to the park. I'm going to need to take that for evidence. We're officially ruling this an abduction. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have left your back door open. Someone wrote the same thing in the tweet. What the hell are they referring to? Not a real back door. I bet they mean a cyber back door. The kidnapper must have been stalking you through social media. How? Isabel told me about this. Um, if you post a photo or a check-in somewhere, then the link is embedded in the coordinate information. It's easily traceable if anybody has the will. This isn't just some random person. This is deeply personal. Here's what the tweet says. What else was written? Sure is a nice day for a ride. What big eyes you have. What a beautiful day in the playground. You shouldn't have left your back door open. This son of a bitch is live tweeting Tommy's abduction. Can you trace the address? Sorry, it's not that easy. With emails, for instance, it's one thing because we can find the IP address. People typically send those from a home computer. However, with mobile apps like Twitter, people post through those apps with their phone. That means that every time that they move, the IP address changes. I wish I could give you some pictures like everyone else. That's okay. I'm praying for you. Thank you. That's my Andy. Andy. Hi, Andy. Do you remember me? I'm friends with your mommy. Do you know where she is? Mommy! What's going on here? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare him off. I didn't realize Elise had a nanny. Elise? Elise, Andy's mom. Hey, Andy, do you remember playing with my little brother Tommy at the park? Uh, um, Andy's mom is deceased. I'm his only caretaker beside his father, so... Deceased. Yeah. I... 
I don't understand. You know the lady that reads to the kids? She has dirty blonde hair, blue eyes, fair skin. Oh, Miss Babcock. Yeah, she's always here reading to the kids, but I... She, she hasn't been here in days. Are you okay? I don't know. Who could have done this? Is Isabel particularly close to her biological father? She's only met him once or twice. He's never really been in the picture. No. No, they've been corresponding for months, or at least according to this she has. What? Yeah. She has to live with him and he said no? Wow. Well, the divorce, was it messy? Yeah, it was pretty ugly. He still sends a small child support check every month, actually. I just got it this morning. It should be right there. I think it's the second or third oh, one yeah. down. Yeah, it has his address on it. In all honesty, he's never seemed concerned about being her father. I don't, it just, it doesn't make any sense. It's simple retribution. Uh, last time we spoke, he was working in IT. Wait, hold on, wait. Isabel's father, he works on computers? It's not him. It's definitely not him, but I know who it is. Nice. She gave me all this advice, told me where to take Tommy when it was raining, but her son wasn't even her son. She's pretending the whole time. I'm so stupid. Honey, stop. All right, there is no Elise Babcock in the area. Must be using a fake name. Yeah, fake name, fake kid. God, I'm such an idiot. Belle. She had a Twitter, though. Maybe I can find a photo of her. Yeah, but think back. Was there any personal information that she offered you that could be true? Where she lives, where she's from, her family members, anything, sweetie. I can't remember. I found this in the parking lot of the playground. Oh, my God. It's the fishbowl gravel that Tommy hoards. It was in the parking lot? He must have dropped it getting into someone's car. That means whoever took Tommy was parked right there. That whoever is Elise. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it was a fake name. But I can't find a photo of her anywhere. Maybe we can find a photo of the parking lot somewhere. Oh, damn it. It's okay, sir. Thanks to Isabel, we got something. When I found the gravel, I did a quick sort, but I haven't had a chance to look through the photos. He's gotta be in there somewhere. Jeremy, how were you able to get all of these photos? I took your lead. The gang and I tracked down all the park goers we found online, and we got their photos and videos from the day. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to get your hopes up. OK, so these are photos from, wow, all different angles of the park. We ordered them chronologically by timestamp according to the area. OK, so we're getting closer to the time, 1.14 PM. There. I don't see Tommy, but... That's her. That's her! That's Lorraine. You know this woman? My ex-wife. We've got an address on her. She's 33 miles northeast of here. That's a long ways away from Roosevelt Park. We put a fast track on a warrant for her, and we've got our guys on their way up there right now. That could be where she's holding Tommy. And we're gonna put out an Amber Alert as soon as we can get the plate on her car. Why didn't you tell us about her? Honestly, it never crossed my mind. We were married super young. We were 19 years old. I haven't heard from her in years. Look, they could be anywhere right now. Matt, do you have any other photos of her? Yeah, let me take a look. I get how she found me through Matt's timeline, but how did she know where we lived? Uh, I posted a photo of the front of the home when we moved in. <sighs> the address is right there. Wrong with dozens of photos of Tommy. And I'm the one that posted photos of the playground. It's all my fault. No, sweetheart, she targeted you. And now we have no idea what she's gonna do with him. It's old. 
the divorce. Were you the one that wanted out? No, she did. Look, there were a number of miscarriages. She had a stillborn at 28 weeks. She even named her Ashley. She was devastated. Hmm. Ashley, you say? Yeah. The marriage didn't last after that. She said being with her was too painful of a reminder. When was the last time you spoke to her? Like 18 years ago. Look, she had her share of family issues, but I didn't think she was insane. I found Maureen's Twitter. I scrolled all the way down her profile, and look, these are all photos that we posted of Tommy that she reposted as if he was her son. She copied and pasted our social media? All the way back to Tommy's birth. Clearly, we're dealing with an unstable personality here, but the good news is I think she's using Tommy as a proxy for her lost child. I don't think she's gonna hurt him. Is that true, statistically? Yes. Oh, please let it be true. Hey, she tweeted again. Over the river. She moved out two months ago. And I seen ID, please. <laughs> Can you take a look around, please? Do you happen to know where she moved to? No, no. She um needed cash, was selling her car cheap. Um, seemed like a really nice lady. Uh, the manager's never really around. He may have more info if you could find him. What did she do? There's nothing here. Oh, uh, wait, um, some mail came in for her? Uh, I don't think she had a forwarding address. Uh, poor thing. Went to go find her son. Abusive husband took him from her. I, I'm sorry, I opened it by accident. I didn't read the name on it first. From her mother. Asked me when she's coming to visit with the grandson. If you do happen to hear from her by any chance, here's my card. Call before you open the door to her, which it could be dangerous. How much longer? Not much longer. One more week and we'll be there. And mommy? I'm gonna be taking care of you for a while now. We're gonna go visit Grandma. Nana? Yes, right, Nana. She's been dying to see you. Your daddy's gonna come visit us real soon. I know he will. Okay, so you mentioned family issues. Yeah, she was the black sheep. She had a younger sister who had a brood of kids at a really young age. She couldn't have one, so she never fit in. So every pregnancy brought her closer and closer to the breaking point. What big eyes do you have? Over the river. Over the river and through the woods? To grandmother's house. Do you think she's going to her mom's? It looks like it. See, the officers that were searching her former apartment found letters from the mother detailing an imminent visit from her and her grandson. Her grandson? Her grandson? Well, apparently the mother is gravely ill, and her dying wish was to finally get to see her only grandson. Well, that explains a lot. I mean, finding out her mother was dying must have been her stressor. She's been cyber-stalking you for years. I mean, that news must have triggered a psychotic break. Now, we have an address for the hospice facility where the mother was being held, and there's a warrant in place. So as soon as Lorraine arrives, she'll be arrested.
two thirds of the puzzles together. So what's the other third? If she's truly deluded, Tommy's her son. It must be your stepdad. I guess. If she's convinced herself that Tommy's hers, she's not likely to hurt him. She needs her mom to meet Tommy to complete the narrative that she's created, that, that she's a legitimate member of her family. Lorraine's mother just passed away this morning. What? The nurse confirmed that Lorraine is on her way to visit with the grandchild. If she finds out her mother is gone, her mission is over. We don't know what she'll do. It is not enough anymore to find out where she is going. We need to find her before she realizes her mother's gone. We blanketed every route from here to there. Rest stops to set up roadblocks. Now, without a cell phone signal, there's little more that we can do right now. We just got another tweet. Mother and child and child reunion. She doesn't know yet. Let's make sure she doesn't find out. All right, we still need that cell signal. I have an idea. If the other piece of the puzzle is Matt... So you do think it is Dad? Let's assume it is. Let's let them find me. Exactly. I think I know how to make that happen. Okay, I got the idea from when Allison flirted with Jeremy through my Instaquick account. So we pretend to be Dad, and we tweet at Lorraine, try to get her to respond, and maybe even give us her cell phone number. Hey, let's go fishing. It's indeed in times of crisis that you know who you can and can't count on. At Lorraine C. Forever. That's good, Mom. I've solved the puzzle, my love. Waiting for you to contact me. Signed. The third piece, 310-555-1436. At Lorraine C. Forever. From this point forward, Bill, you and I are the husband and father this freak of nature always wanted in our life. All right, Matt, let you and I get ready to get on the move as soon as we get a response from that. Sounds good. I'm gonna triangulate that immediately. Here, you keep her texting. Every time she responds, it's gonna ding off another tower and lead us right to her. Tell me where you are, and I will come find you. at Nana's house. Go get your shoes on, okay? Time to go. I want my mommy. Oh, love, I am your mommy. Right here. You're not my mommy. I want my mommy. That is enough. She won't respond via text. She just tweeted and says she'll tweet again when it's safe. She knows we can't trace her tweets. Okay, that was one of our phone technicians. They were able to trace that one text. Great. Yeah, well, good. Ish. See, it bounced off of two towers here and here, so it gives us a rough approximation. That's a huge area. Yeah, and it's all wooded. Lots of little cabin areas, trailer parks. She could be anywhere. 
Now, the good news is she's a lot closer than what we thought. So if we can just get her to send us some texts, uh, we can zero in on her location here. So how can we help? Well, right now, all I need is your husband, Jackie. He's the one that she wants. No, no. We all go as a family. Isabel and I won't get in the way. I have to be there. Please, she has my baby. All right, Belle, Jackie, Matt, let's get going. Jeremy, I want you to stay here with Agent Radzicki. Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. OK? What do you got? Okay, we've honed in on a small group of cabins on the route she'd likely take. A car similar to hers was seen entering the development. How far away are we? Well, that depends on how fast I drive. So you're like a cop. Kind of, yeah. And you can arrest people for doing legal things? What are you asking me? Well, my friend from Juvie, uh, who was in for some computer things, things I, I don't know anything about. But Isabel's dad is good with computers, right? Yeah, I'm not going to arrest you for helping to find Tommy. Besides, I'm a profiler. And how can I get in touch with Isabel's dad? Okay, we're just gonna sit tight here for now. They're canvassing the area. There's no reports of stolen vehicles, but they're checking out the rental car companies now. So we'll stand by and wait to, to hear from them. Any reports from the Twitter feed or text messages? Nothing. What the? Belle, what is it? I just got an email from Dad. You what? Yeah, he wants to help. He's got some sort of malware program. Uh, I guess it's some sort of malware app. Wow, this is intense. It displays a PNG image, but the app can also decrypt the image with a particular key in order to display a second APK file that it can then install. Uh -huh. Dad says he's heard of people using it to send people a virus that can completely take over someone's phone. I mean, contacts, photos, microphone. GPS? Yep. I mean, even if she's smart enough to not respond to the text, she's probably opening them up just out of curiosity, at least. So all she has to do is pick up one text. Dad says not all phones are susceptible, but maybe we can get lucky for once. Well, let's do it. I mean, what do we got to lose? OK, I'm going to pretend I never heard any of this. Look, let's just get your son back, and we'll deal with the legal repercussions later. OK, then. Um, where's that photo of her and Matt? Let's see, I just got to take a photo. Should I say anything? Oh, yeah, let me do that. I want to make sure she responds.
It's too late, my love. Mama is dead. Malware activated. Now, where are you? Hold for position. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. We got a lock on our position. Coordinates G, Niner, five, Tango, seven, Niner, six, three, Tango, zebra, Foxtrot, zero. Dream team. Oh, I'm sorry we were so hard on you. I am so, so sorry. Please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. He will be, Mom. He's strong and smart. We're so close. He's got to be okay. Good work, Isabel. Yeah, Agent Willis. Got it. Found the cabin. Let's go. Let's go. I need you to stay with the car. Under no circumstances do you leave this vehicle. Tommy! Tommy! Mrs. Campbell! My name is Agent Willis. I can see you're upset right now, but nobody needs to get hurt. Why don't you let Tommy come down here and be with us, and then we can talk about it. I want to talk to my husband. Hey, she's asking to talk to you, Matt. OK, that's fine. But uh, I mean, what do I say to her? Well, you got to keep her calm. Hello? Jeremy, put on Agent Radziki. OK. It's Isabel. Hello. Radziki, you're on speaker. Lorraine wants to talk to Matt. OK? OK, well, she's obviously coming to reality with the situation. He needs to play the role that she sees him in. It'll it'll bring her back into the delusion. It'll calm her down. Give Matt the phone. I'll talk him through it. OK, yeah, it's Matt. Yeah. OK, just a second. Hurry. What's going on? OK, stay with the car. <sighs> OK, let's go get our little boy back. Love you. Keep her calm. Remember, you are still her husband. Tommy is your son with her. Lorraine! Lorraine, it's Matt! Your husband, I'm here. Thank you for finding me. I've waited so long for this day. Matt! Matt, they're trying to take our baby. Just tell him this is all a mistake. Tell him to go away. Yeah. Hey, Tommy boy! Hey, buddy, it's, a, it's okay. Daddy's here. Just hang in there. I tried to tell him, Matt. I told him you were coming. I'm here. I'm here now, and everything's gonna be okay. Matt, Mama died this morning. She didn't get to meet her grandson. I know. I'm sorry. But she's with us now. She's watching him now. No, don't dwell on the mom. Bring her back. Bring her back to you three as a happy family. I can't believe you found us after all these years. Lorraine, you know you're the only one I ever wanted to have a child with. Even more than with Jackie. No! Do not bring up Jackie. Jackie? You mean that bitch that tried to take our baby from me? How could you let her do that, Matt? How could you? Help! 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 Please, just... It's not fair. It's not fair. She had two babies, and I've... I've got what? Listen, we can start over. We can start again. A new... No! It's too late. Mama's already dead. Mommy! Mommy! Isabel, what are you doing? Trust me. Mommy, don't you recognize me? 
It's me, Ashley. I always knew that Daddy would bring me back to you. I don't understand. I never blamed you. It was never your fault. I've never stopped loving you. It's you. Oh, oh, thank God. Mommy, come here. <sighs> oh. Come on, Tommy. Lorraine, I'm so sorry for everything you've been through. I hope you get the help that you deserve. I got to ride in the police car. It's so fast. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> hey, dinner's ready. I should get going. I'm really glad everything worked out. Jeremy, please stay. We're celebrating our family being together tonight, and that couldn't have happened without your help. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. So, Agent Willis called. Lorraine's being put under psych observation. She should be locked up. No, she should get the help she needs, Belle. I guess. What's this? This is the first camera I ever shot with. It's film, so it can't be plugged in, can't be downloaded, and it can't be traced. It shoots good old-fashioned photos. You have a real talent, my baby girl. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Selfies? Selfies, Tommy! <laughs> yeah! Oh, my God! <laughs> Room for one more. Always. Do me a favor. Take the family off the grid for me. At least for a while. Thank you. 